their damats to bring you better matter them as they take affect you and as they take affect me. And this matter they very very important, especially those we be say then get matter uh, children for inside their house or then get people with around them. When they feel they notice some kind sign, but they don't know what it be. The matter what I want to talk about today, eh, it get to concern you well, well, well. Now you make you suppose carry your TV near body well, well, so that you feel understand and pay attention to what we talk about. Uh, I don't tell you my name before, I be precious in your name, my name, but make a go back break. When I come back, I go let you in on that matter what they tell you about. We be so one talk now after the break. <music> On this continuation note, my people, uh, welcome back to the Good Morning Nigeria. <laughs> welcome back to the Good Morning Nigeria show. Thank you so much uh, as you sit down with us. So uh, before we go on break, I've been telling you, say, get Mata we be say, go concern you, and it also concern me, we be say, we won't talk about. And this matter they important too. If you get Pikino, you get people around you, you get family members who you care about too, you're supposed to sit down, put, make you pay attention to this matter. What's in be that matter? Now, rejection. Rejection. Now I won't talk about some people go down the talk. Say, waiting be rejection now. Nah. If I talk out for my mouth alone, I go there like say precious, you too no book, you too go school. Only you won't talk everything. No, make a leave them. A kukuma no even sabi self because that grammar is too big for my uh, ear. <laughs> I be for my eye, I be for my head, for my mouth self to talk. So um I get a better guest with me. She na growth coach. But some we be say the grown people, they grow people, they teach people, make them feet grow. And she self na consultant. Uh, I get her inside the studio. Her name na happiness, Daniel Easy. And she did here with us. May she put mouth for us. Well, well, for things we consign this rejection. We be say what they talk about. So happiness, I like the way you just look my mouth. You just look me like this woman. You just type this speech in English. You type and you type. Welcome. Thank you so welcome. much. I Thank love you for the smile me. for your eyes. Thank you. The Thank smile you. for your lip and the twinkle in your eyes. <laughs> Thank you so welcome, much. Welcome, plentifully. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Pleasure to have you. More than pleasure to have you. <laughs> mm? So make we go straight to the matter. Yes. This not talking about rejection. Mm. So person with you talk, say, oh, this grammar too much. Help us explain. Waiting be rejection. And to that person will be saying, maybe what in the experience and rejection, he no no. Mm. Help us explain what in be the be rejection to them, may they understand. Okay, so um, rejection, mm. as simple as it sounds, mm. um, it can be simple, it can be complex, depending oh, on that the is, degree. If it is simple, it if it is simple, if he, if you also they complicated, like, like, hey. oh wow. Depending mm. on the degree of the rejection. Mm. So that is depend on how much they use to reject the person. Mm. In way. So rejection they, they type they volume by volume. Yes, it increase it, in, in 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 number and they reduce in quantity too. Yes. So oh wow. It get mm. great, it get in level way. depending on the experience of the person. Okay. So for a simple perspective, I'm simply saying not being accepted. Rejection is the opposite of being accepted. Either somebody mm. saying no to you, refusing something that you have to offer, rejecting your proposal or not believing in something that you have to do, or questioning your capacity in any level or in anything. Hey. So as simple as just not being accepted. So yes. if you not accept me for where I did, hmm. and you not accept me, say, ah, anytime when you see my face on TV, you say, mm, make a come out. <laughs> say, who be this ugly woman with my TV? Make a come out. That's it, it, alone on its own, a rejection. rejection. It might not oh, even wow. be saying, I not accept you completely. It might just be even one area. This your joke, not to make me laugh. Oh. This is your dress, I know to like her more. Why you wear this week come work today? What thing they happen? You know, so it can be it can be as simple as just not accepting an area. It can even be as complex as somebody putting a question mark or a dent on your sense of self worth. Hmm. It can be that deep. Hmm. Look at drink water. I, mean, I need to digest this in way you talk. Mm. You see, putting question on my sense of self worth. Self -worth. That is on how I value myself, mm. on what I worth, mm. on how much mm. I be. If, if to say that they go prize human mm. being. One person on the question, I say this mm. person, normally a human being will be mm. say, it should be land now, na, na, banana island she supposed to be. Mm. Person can carry me go put now mm. for inside Zango mm. Kataf mm. for Plateau State. So that mm. means, it be like mm. say they don't look me well. Or maybe mm. if my, my worth is like one million dollars, that is my value as a human being at one million dollars, mm. they can't they prize me like, Mm. 200 naira. Mm. Maybe say the, that's one self na rejection. Mm. Mm. So when you hear things like say, you, you, the person, you are good for nothing, you cannot amount to anything. Hey. Nothing good can come out of you. If hey. others are talking, why are you talking? Who are you to open your mouth in the midst of this crowd? So it can be as deep as that, somebody putting a question mark on yourself, or it can just be as simple as, you know, just being rejected. Now, whether we like it or not, 
uh, one way or the other, we don't experience rejection. Person don't tell us no, things don't happen to us. So somebody Actually, they begin saying no to us. No, be today. Oh. I need to say for Nigeria, you know, we don't, we don't experience the things, so say we don't develop thick skin, say it don't become normal. So you hear things like say, if they reject, you know, reject yourself. If they do it because we, are, we live in an environment where there is a lot of ignorance about mm. this concept. Now, it don't become very popular, but many years ago, as at 10, 15 years ago, nobody did talk about them. So if they happen, but people don't know say they happen. And then people, they contribute to them, and they don't know say then they contribute to them because they are not aware of the implication of what is happening and what it has to do to people. And it can be from, if it happened to you anywhere, if it can be a person, it can be a place, you just walk into a place and you just realize they say, they don't want me for here. I'm not accepted, I don't feel alone among, I don't belong to this environment and all that. It can be somebody telling you something, it can be friends rejecting, it can be in school where you say, ah, I want to join you and play, and like, please don't come and play with us, big nose, big head, things like that. Hey, if not big head, forget, forget <laughs> about, forget <laughs> about that one, forget about You know what we don't hear? Now, I mean, before you even question me, Seth, I don't really tell you, say, look, 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 take a miss you, because short people will be vexed. Before you go, tell me, say short people on the two vex. Mm -hmm. So, that, so but why will it be? Why it get to be a problem? We'll get to talk about now. Why it be? You get to see the use of affects person well being, mm. maybe psychologically or mentally. Why we it get to be a problem now? We we supposed to put eye inside. Okay, so the you where we they sit today now as a result of different things. One of them now all the environments where you don't go. So even the place where they born you, the kind of house where you live, the school where you go, they affect who you become today, and that's because. Your environment influences your thought patterns. So if you don't enter environments where you don't experience rejection, automatically that rejection don't in interfere with your perception about life mm. and about people and about places if you don't deal with them. So mm. if you leave them, somehow it will begin to make you they look life with one kind lens. The way where you carry blue glasses, they look mm. everything for life. So if somebody wear blue glasses, everything for this room will be blue because of that experience. So now a lot of people don't grow up go into life where they never really process what don't happen to them. And some of them, they do things where they, they, they find themselves to they do things where they're not supposed they do, or find themselves they limited or afraid of opportunities because of these experiences. So rejection, by the time you don't happen to you, your mind don't take them. It has entered your subconscious and it has mm. stayed there. And it has now become what we call the programming. The program has now affected your thought patterns. Now I'm going technical now. It has affected your thought patterns, which has affected your belief system, which has also affected your emotions and your actions. So certain times in life, there are certain behaviors, where patterns we have that we are trying to change, but we cannot change it because we have not been able to address mm, the that issue of rejection yes. we experienced in the past. So, and because we know, no, say this thing don't affect us. For example, now, for example, we say you, somebody will experience bullying. Mm. I, I don't know whether you read my mind because it get experience where they get somewhere where be say where person don't share with me. But make I let you talk this bully. And me. then you know somebody don't experience them, and then it, they they can process it in two ways. One, nobody's going to put me down again. Mm -hmm. Another person might be so timid and seeking for help in places where you're not supposed to. In fact, stepping down and looking at down on yourself and being, being looking for validation in places where you're even bigger than because you want to feel accepted. Well, how about people where you say, feel, say, maybe, is it possible say person fits down experience bully, and then uh, when the person can't be in leadership position, the person can't be also bully others, just a way to show, say, in, in get presence, mm -hmm. in they're in, in charge, to show that superiority where people be the reject them. With before, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Seeing a ways to react to such. Yeah, so it, oh, it, wow. So when somebody says, if the resolve is that after my perception, nobody can put me down, automatically you go down the process. Say I must do everything to make sure. Say I dare at the top at all means, and then you can interpret it by domineering, being domineering and dominating other people. Mm. And so when you enter into a place, even a simple, maybe you are a leader and somebody asks you a question that is contrary, or maybe. Um, um, what's the word now, um, challenges, maybe not in a negative way, mm -hmm. an opinion or tries to give a counter opinion to your opinion, you see that as somebody trying to put you down and automatically your reflexes begin to say, nobody can put me down, nobody can put me down. And the next thing is you see someone who is domineering, who doesn't listen to people, who tries to put other people down once the person senses that there is a tendency to want to make me look down or mm. make me put me down. Once anything where they like that, is that trigger, yeah. they call and trigger. Once anything bring out that trigger where we say that's where you don't experience before, 
a blessed person won't do harm to you. You don't Even shine. You don't, you don't, every, every other sense don't, don't rise don't, up. Don't rise say, up. Nobody go do this thing to me. And sometimes, you know, if you be saying, no, be waiting, the person gets from mind. But because say, that thing don't form perception for you, it don't create like a script where they say anytime where that kind of experience happen to you, this is how you read life and how you read things. Okay, so some people where they say don't suffer this uh, rejection now. What do you think will be the possible ways we or where they suffer them? What do be the possible ways we didn't fit cope to use manage or skill through the rejection process? Okay, or pro you know, um, period. The first thing where I would say. Usually, this is not something where we they do a lot in Nigeria. It's not something we do in this environment a lot. But a lot of times, when things happen to us, we they sweep them under carpet. So it happens. Mm. You just walk up past. It don't happen. Drop them. Mm. But you don't. You don't know that that thing that you have swept under the carpet has registered in your subconscious. So what I will tell to people is, if you have experienced a rejection before, don't sweep it under the carpet. Mm. Talk about them. Process them. What do you mean by process? We're not so, going to grind them now. <laughs> <laughs> go look at, take out that thing and look at it. And you can look at it through two lenses, through your feelings and through your thoughts. Okay. So waiting be the emotion where they feel for this thing where it don't happen to me. Hmm. So if you say, okay, you come out from an, a, 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 somebody, you know, you felt rejected. Maybe somebody dumped you. You had a relationship with a man and he left you after five years of commitment and all that. You ask yourself, what is the emotion I'm feeling here? What exactly am I feeling? Why do I feel the way I'm feeling? And then with that understanding, you go deal with the situation and understand what thing, what thing don't happen to you as a person. But if you sweep them under the carpet, you go bury somewhere. And what you go do is say, another person will come tomorrow. Instead of you to use open hearts and an open mind to embrace that person, what you now do is you become judgmental. You become suspicious and you begin, you begin to suspect the person's behavior towards you. So you don't sweep the emotions under the carpet. Ask yourself why you're feeling that way. What have you felt from this experience? And then secondly, separate the situation from yourself. The thing that they do with rejection, be say people won't get rejection. What they, they do to them, be say then they carry that rejection, put on top of them, so say, it is me that has a problem. The, you are no longer objective about what has happened to you. You have now made it subjective. So it's no longer about the incident that happened. It is about you. So if you experience an incident of rejection, separate the incident from yourself. So somebody, you deal with somebody, you have a relationship with somebody, and the person treats you bad. No, be you get problem. Mm, make you no know, say, no, be you. You know, so some, some people will say, I don't blame you, no, be my fault. Now, because of I did the way I did, I make you make drown this person for me. me. Yeah. So, because to say my papa and mama get money, if you not talk to me anyhow, I do. so maybe people need to blame themselves. For Make them commod themselves from that situation. And blame the person mm -hmm. when do this thing. Mm. Apart from blaming the person, look into the situation like, hey, you know, this is me, this is the situation. What thing happen here? Mm. What thing this person do to me? Why this person do this? Why if he even do this thing to me? What thing if he do next time? Make I not find myself in this kind of place again? What thing I don't learn about this person? And what should I look out for in people next time when I'm dealing with this kind of situation? And so with that, you have removed yourself from the situation. And then you're able to make it about the person or the situation, not about yourself. And then the next thing is that you have to be positive. In the sense that you don't allow that thing we don't happen to you determine your outcome in life and say, okay, because a person don't do this to me, I don't face rejection automatically, I cannot move forward anymore. So you take a proposal to a company and they turn down your proposal. And the next time they say, oh, I take this proposal, go this place. You say, no, I cannot take it to this place because I feel that nobody will accept my proposal anymore. So be positive. It's just an incident. Move on and see how you can, you know, um, be able to do better going next. And so we call them for, we say we will call a growth mindset. Say you, they learn, whether about life or about people. So you take them as a learning curve and then you move forward, knowing that, you know, um, this thing that happened to me is not, is the situation, is the person. Mm. Oh. Interesting. So, you know, uh, the way you don't use explain this whole reject thing thing and how person fits you, things a person fit do to cope, because they make me the thing say, whether we get more than one type of rejection, or maybe it did the kind of rejection where person defeats, I be person feel, is it possible see person feel face rejection for different aspects of life? I don't even know, like in your relationship, your marriage, your workplace, your anywhere where you did. I've been only just maybe our mama, be, be like, you know, sometimes for Africa, be like, say, our mama didn't say, wait, what did they tell you? You know, see your mates. Your mates will don't do more than this. I've been only that side, then I'm be rejection. But I would like me to give us clarification for that issue. That one will be after this break. Will they come back? Stay with us.
Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Extra Show. And of course, we're there here still with uh, Madam uh, Happiness, Daniel Eze. She'll be growth coach. And when they talk about rejection, she don't tell us plenty things about rejection. Ah, if you never join us since here, you don't miss. Go find this show, make you go watch them. In fact, it'd be like saying, go into our YouTube, make you go watch them because Madam Happiness make plenty sense like this. But before we go on break, Madam Happiness, we'll be there talk about um, uh, the kind of, is it possible to say rejection in different types? Or in different ways. So, what's going to be the different kinds of rejection we'll fit get, and uh, what's going to be the different aspects of our lives we'll fit face rejection? Okay. Mm. So, there are different areas we can face rejection. Like I said, it can be very minor to very, very traumatic, depending on the kind of situation. So, um, for example, a baby in the womb is as serious as a right in the womb. A baby can begin to feel rejection. So, if a mama don't tell you, say, I don't want this child. This pregnancy is a bad luck. This As pregnancy is not what I want. From womb? From the womb. The baby don't start to they feel, say, I'm not wanted. So he gets on Baby, the, whenever for my go, he gets sense to the things feel like that. They connect now. Now human beings. So they feel the emotions where the mama they feel. Mm. They feel ah. So if you don't, it, as in they come out, you don't know, say, ah, they don't want me for this place. Because you don't get the signals while the baby they inside the womb. So, you know, see this one where you talk now, this one parents where so you say they feel, actually feel like that, but when the bikini eventually come and they will call love them, call the all over them, that feeling will change for that bikini in that situation. So, if, you know, if they know intentionally have those conversations with that baby to um, correct that impression, the baby will still feel it. You know, see the thing about that rejection, they say, if they close your perception, so even things where parents feel do, where no they no no they no mean say we don't want you. The picking feel interpret and say you don't want me. So for example, I'm crying and mommy walks past me and doesn't attend to me immediately while I'm crying. The child can go back to that feeling I had when I was in the womb to say, ah, this is a confirmation that I'm not wanted. How possible it is a picking with the inside belly go go as we don't grow up, we will remember the things and what the emotions we will feel. Inside that mama belly, that kind of thing did happen. It did happen. You know, say from How? baby from the womb, eh, baby feel feel anything where the mama they feel because there is a connection between the mother. If you know, say in the womb, baby they hear. Mm, I know say picking they hear music. Yeah. They so they, they hear as yeah. you they talk, they hear what you they talk. As you they feel, they feel what you they feel. So mm -hmm. that's why you, if you know if the mama they ignorant, I know they are aware of the impact of the baby. The baby feel come and knowing say ah. They don't want me, especially if there was a traumatic experience behind that pregnancy. Mm. So it's, um, it can happen to the baby in the womb. It can also happen anywhere for school, you know, children talking to each other, you know, children, oh, you maybe somebody didn't do well in his class or he's not doing well in school, and the other classmates are not sensitive that, oh, this child is just having a challenge, and you start criticizing, oh, this child doesn't know anything. Like, even when we're growing up, say, oh, Lodo, you know, oh, Lodo Rapata, all those kind of things. You don't know anything and all and that. we talk and plenty. We talk and now, we from ignorance. We, In fact, we, when we did school, we get person with the call, that, at that time we mentioned big head, we get person with the call HUDSF. Wow. And at some point, think I accept them. He could even answer himself. He eh? would tell you, if you call him from saying, I mean, I'm HOD. Yeah. So at least that person don't develop coping mechanism to say, you know what, mm. this thing doesn't um, make me any lesser than who I am. But, and then even as in your career, you don't look for job, look for job, look for job. There. Today you submit this CV, they reject you. You do this interview, they say, no, we're not taking you. And then even in relationships where you know, people have worked out on you, or I don't know whether you don't see people where we say you don't face life challenges. Mm. Life, life hits you hard. And then all the relationships where you get just walk out on everybody just bone your side because we still say, you know, you know, you know, they relevant anymore or you no longer they happen as you're supposed to be. So rejection fee happen in every and any way. And then for some time, people don't go through abuse. And if whether it's verbal, physical or even sexual abuse is a sign of rejection because that thing puts a dent on their sense of worth. Like you are nothing. You have no value. And uh, that person is trying to, you know, bring down your own value, even of yourself, by the actions that they are taking against you. So it can happen in different ways, in different ways. And it depends on different people, how they raise them and their own perception about life to the interpret as rejection. So is it possible to say the fear of rejection or the fear of being rejected go fit? Uh, influence the way we be see how they behave. That is good fit put hand for the kind of character we be see mm -hmm. I get. Yes. If it's influence person behavior and uh, how person they relate with people for society, is yes. it possible? Yes. And if you give us examples. Yes, yeah, so for example, um, it, it, rejection can produce inferiority complex. 
And you know, once you have inferiority complex, they are just things you feel that you are not worth having or you don't deserve. So you, you feel, say, you know, you explain, as you explain how rejection of a make person, you know, influence my ha attitude, how I they behave, and how I they, you know, put myself out of the society. People see they find and difficult to believe, say that one will be reality. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very possible. For example, let's use an example case in scenario where a girl we don't experience how her papa leave her mama for another woman. And mm. our mama don't tell them, say, ah, all men na cheat. Yeah. So that rejection will be say, papa leave them for another woman. If she meets men for her life, maybe she even get married herself. And that thing, she never deal with them. That fear or that trauma which she experienced, she never deal with them. If it affect her marriage, so, mm. for example, if to say that the papa live for another woman and she don't get the mindset, say, all oh, man that, that cheats because, oh, she, the fear be say, ah, this man feel leave me for another woman one day. So, you get as the man go feel come back, carry in phone, go inside room, won't answer because she don't suspect another woman if they talk to. Maybe he don't tell mm. her, say, I go come back by 8 o'clock tonight and if they come back every day by 8 o'clock and the day, first day, we don't come back by 8 o'clock. He can't come back by 12 midnight. Mm. Automatically, I hear don't go say, ah, mm. another woman don't do inside mm. the picture. Go be that now because of what uh, she don't, uh, she don't uh, hear. So rather than being open, make she see waiting really be the problem. Or I ask the person, ah, what happened? Under that rejection don't influence her mind. So they, her action don't they show say, ah, I don't trust people. Some people say if they affect trust, they can't trust people. Mm. Because they don't want to find themselves in that place again. So who they build wall. I know that you don't meet people like that where we say they don't feel receive love. They just build wall for their heart. Say you cannot penetrate me. Then for some people, they know they will agree to try again. The fear of failure. You know, in this part of the world we see failure as a weakness and a negative thing rather than a learning curve and something that we can build on. So experiences in rejection can trigger, it can cause a low self-esteem, loss of confidence in people based on the different experiences and places or environments they have experienced. Okay, so which can, which can pattern of strategy person they put in place now to use overcome all of this kind of experiences? Um, make, make sure, say, our past experience no impede on our success or our decision making. You get any strategy we'll put in place to, you know, use make sure, say, we'll conquer them. Still understand it, say, we'll suppose they're vulnerable at the times they'll go they're vulnerable, but make no let them be cloud you know, our overall thinking. Is it possible? Okay, yeah, so it's very, very possible. So, but the first thing they say, one, you need to deal with them and accept say something don't happen. We they talk you. deal with them, deal with them, deal with them. I still they ask, say, how do they take deal with this? Yeah, matter? so that's what I'm saying. So, mm. you need to first of all accept say something don't happen to you. Okay. Now, it get people where they say they may not know, say, this thing and rejection be their problem. Hmm. <coughs> So the first thing they say, if you so if you don't know sin or rejection, I'm going to the problem. So when I make them, they even do it in the yes. Mm. Be, so the first thing they say, if you don't they see certain pattern where they repeatedly happen to you over and over again, you understand? Yes. The first thing to do is to make you slow down and ask yourself what is happening to me and why is it happening to me. Mm. That way you can begin to now see whether there has been a problem with rejection somehow. If you notice a, a fear or a phobia about something and it's so mm. severe that you cannot seem to break through this. It means say something don't happen to you somewhere. We don't create that rejection or that fear. Where you now need to identify and begin to work on it. So when you I don't identify, say there's something wrong, say this now the thing we don't happen to you. Say I don't get, oh this now um, this rejection don't happen to me at a particular place. For someone like me, within I first of all do this I I I I, I I had to tell myself, first of all, I am not my experience. Hmm. Hmm. So you go come out to yourself I am not from my experience. experience. So experience na life happening. Na life. different from na life. who you be, na really. life. So there's something we call... And this matters will not be help from life, yes. right? Yes. Mm. So you know, if you define all the experiences where you get, so yes. if you decide to, dis to, to know all the experiences you can experience, yes. like, is it possible? You know, they're possible. No, no. So, because you know they're possible, you go tell yourself, say, well, and a part of the things we like. Yes, yes. Bring. So, okay. there's a tool we use in emotional intelligence, which is called the ITFA mm. Impact, Thought, Feeling, and Action. Okay. So, you can use that process to assess yourself. So, for example, impact are the things that happen to us in life. Mm. People say to us, people do to us, events happen to us. And now, for impact, you don't get control. Control be say, I cannot change how life happens to me because it's not yeah. within my control. Mm. So you have to come to that acceptance. Now, why you not get control of what life throws at you? 
now you they responsible for how you will respond to what life throws at you. Mm. So because you know if you control them, then how you go fit use acceptance mm. or not or deal with them, that one are your responsibilities. Yes. Mm. yes. And so um, a lot of times people that go to rejection put the blame on other people. Meaning that oh. they say, because this person did this to me, I am justified in this action I have decided to take or this part I have decided to take. So there's something I tell people, I say, if, you have, if they've taken your yesterday from you, you should not allow them to take your tomorrow from you. Mm. Why you were not in charge of your yesterday, you are totally responsible for your tomorrow. Because now you don't get the knowledge, you don't know. Ah. So now, you, now oh. your power, now your hand, the power day to determine how that rejection will affect your life, whether positively or negatively. Mm. That's why two people go, go through the same experience and they go get two different outcomes. Two people experience poverty. One don't become arm robber. Another person don't become multi-billionaire, build mm. businesses. Why? So it, it is important that you, you take ownership first. At least when they did it to you, you were not in charge. But now it has happened to you. I have to now take ownership. And when I start taking ownership, the, the, the tool is that you use your thoughts and your feelings and your actions. So your thoughts about an experience will determine your feeling about an experience and it will determine your action. Mm. So if you want to change person's action, you don't go start with the action, you go start with the thoughts. Mm, the person mind, the mind where they think and first. Oh, because that mind. You know, say, don't remind me, say, for law now, uh, apart from saying they see a crime, for you to identify a person don't commit crime, you go see, say, the crime they committed. Mm. Then you go see, say, the person get the mindset to commit the crime. Mm. That is, if you keep, if you use knife, hit a um, caught person for neck, and the person die, mm. death happen, mm. murder happen, mm. that is, killing happen, yes, mm. it happen. But that knife where the person um, um, carry, now, to the, now with the intention of killing the person mm. on a mistake, mm. now the person used the knife, they call them criminal mm. intention mm. and, you know, mm. act mm. of, mm. oh. So mm. that means, ah, oh. I say make I buy you. It's too much. It's too much. So it is sink. As they talk, I mean they sink. Yes. It is sink. So, so the mindset mm, matters. The mindset a lot. about it matters a lot. Mm. And you now have to go and deal with it. If it's negative, try and change it. You have to now make it positive. How can you convert this for your good? So um, it's not to make the situation turn around to your good. Yes. So so like mm. my own slogan, I say if they take yesterday from me to here today, um, if they take my yesterday from me yesterday, they cannot take my tomorrow from me today. So I have, I'm going to be responsible to make sure that my tomorrow turns out right. Mm. So when you're able to, then you now look at your feelings. So if you keep thinking about it in a negative light, I am worthless. I'm worthless. I'm worthless. For example, someone don't, don't go through rape. You say, I'm worthless. I'm useless. And not automatically, you won't have a positive feeling about yourself. And your actions will not be positive. You find yourself doing things that you've not done. But if you now say, ah, this thing will not happen to me. I want to make sure it doesn't happen to anybody where I know again. Anybody around me. This thing happened happen to mm. me is bad. Nobody deserves to experience this. And I want to make sure nobody ever experiences this around me. Now, that thing don't create positive energy. Mm. Because you don't want, you go find healing for yourself. But not only say you don't find healing, you want to help many other people find healing. So if, with a positive perspective and thinking, you can begin to channel a positive energy that can navigate you towards a positive direction or outcome or outlook in life, if you begin to look at it from that person. Then the next thing is to talk about it. Don't keep it to yourself. Find help. Some people will fit, do it I don't do on their own. I don't talk now on their own. Process them. You know, work on them and say that they move on. But some people know fit. So you might need to go and look for somebody that you trust, that you can talk to or has the capacity to help you. And then you open up to that person and the person is able to guide you and walk you through that place. Then I want to say, find purpose. Mm. Find a purpose. Find a purpose. purpose. Alright. Uh, so all the things where you don't line out now, outline and ways where people fit you deal with the way rejection they make them feel. Mm. Because rejection you don't talk, you mention worthlessness. So mm. that means rejection they make person feel worthless. Yes. And maybe reduce the person the self esteem. Yes. They reduce in it any way. It reduce so. it reduce self -esteem. It reduce, it reduce. Because once you know once you feel your sense will don't drop for your eye. Now mm. so you know we'll get self esteem to come out, okay. come out show up again. Okay. And when it comes to that self esteem, thank God you don't talk them. Another way where you feel help yourself. Like you know we get self esteem problems so when they walk into a place they know they fit connect with people relate to people because if you say they no live they don't match up or they don't get a sense of what mm. so i tell person when you enter a place stop thinking about focusing so much about how people think about you 
Stop focusing about how would they see me? How would they see my dress? How would they see my mm. hair? You know, when you enter into a place, think about the value you can bring to a place. Mm. Who you be. Who you be. Mm. So, first, and that means you first must first of all discover your own value, your uniqueness. What is the value you have? And in any space you're entering, enter with a sense of, you know what, what is the value I can bring in? And okay. you know, say, you get no, you don't get any place where you go, they wave. You know, if you add value, everybody go bring value. Everybody. Every picking where they has, they bring value. There is no way you my can remote fee day here now. Come, I picking from outside. Come pick my remote. You don't give me value. Mm. Nah, thank you, thank you. So, will they come back? When we we'll come back, we we'll won't know whether you get anything about our culture or tradition where they help all this kind, you know, rejection to make and to the grow. Because as Africans, we get our culture and tradition with the indigenous to us. But that one will be after the break with the show back. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, still on top of the Good Morning Niger Show Extra, now you day. And we still there with Madam Happiness, Daniel Eze. We don't they talk about rejection. So, Madam Happiness, talking about so society, our society, the way we they behave. You know, say society now, the way, way people, you know, they define how people they behave for their society, right? So, the way we they behave in our culture, it gets in any way, we be say the thing, they fit you know, enhance the spread of this rejection in any way? Yes, so because one, there's a lot of ignorance about the implication of our words on people as an environment. Um, somehow it fuels rejection. Mm -hmm. So we also live in an environment that is one, result-oriented, rather than um, process-driven. So we, we accept people based on setting standards, achievements, and results and things. So, so when we meet people in uh, within our own context who don't fit into a particular mode, we have been designed to believe is the perfect mode. You know what happens automatically is that we begin to see them as outcast. Also, things like how we treat widows in this environment, mm. things like the Osu caste system. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Things like how we the class between the rich and the poor. Mm. You know, background. Like you can't get married to my son because you're not within our class. Yes. Like you're not from Igbo, so my son cannot marry an Edo girl, mm. for instance, those kind yes, of The cultural thing. differences and mm. all that, the tribal differences and all that. And so those things are things with the foster Yes, and rejection. then this thing about class. You know, uh, you're, I'm in this class, you are in this class. Education, the, the, the cotton between, between the educated and uneducated. Mm. So if you're a graduate, if you see someone who is a graduate, who is marrying somebody who is not a graduate, Automatically, I don't even see Lagos girls with the talks. I would never marry a man that stays in the mainland. Uh -huh. God forbid. <laughs> I say, hey, really? So, he can't get in a mainland. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, so, so once we have that perception in our minds where we feel that this particular thing or place is, has a higher value over this other thing, whenever we see people operating within those areas we see of lower value, automatically mm. our natural response so is society to get away, please. Yes. What about social media, for instance? Hello? Mm. Mm. <laughs> social media, you don't play plenty roles. And how people feel commot themselves from their social media life, you know, differentiate themselves from their social media life, where you be say, if you feel they full of rejection, if, yes. if you answer me correctly, mm. and then you may they know, say, that's one, a fantasy life. This one are your reality make it be social media like the different from reality but first of all more could look whether social media they play role to drive re rejection yes social media they play role because we don't we don't base we don't define success as affluence um ability to have so much money at your disposal being free to do whatever you want to do anyhow you want to do so our perception of success is has been warped mm. and so Social media has tend to portray a definition of success. And when people are not able to fit into that mode, you can see yourself reflecting what the social media has reflected success to mean. Automatically, you just feel you don't belong and you're not part of it. And so sometimes, they say, well, for one of the greatest causes of depression is excess you know, um, exposure to social media. Mm. Yes, because what it does is that there's that thing of comparison where you begin to judge your own life by another person's story. <laughs> which and, not and, and, and that one day almost inevitable, inevitable. if you always the day so it, which, it, which if you which um, sometimes might not even be the reality. So if you've not learned contentment 
enjoying your success story, knowing that you're in a journey, embracing your journey, embracing yourself. If you've not learned to define your worth from something that is internal rather than external, social media now poses a lot of challenge because it now becomes a place where you might feel lost, you might feel not meeting up, and it can create a sense of, you know, worthlessness, rejection, or even maybe, you know, just even likes. I posted my video I and I didn't, like I didn't get enough likes on my video. <laughs> And that's it, you know, you feel, oh, they didn't like my video, they, didn't, they don't like me, mm. they're not following me because, so if you've not been able to define that, you know, keep it in its place mm. and, you know, define your own worth and sense of, of, of um, what's not fulfillment or where you derive mm. your sense of worth from, social media can now create a lot of confusion mm. which can result so, so, in... So how person won't use commodity self for that social media life now, you know, to differentiate their social media from their reality so that in the no good feel that rejection way them fits feel uh, with the presence of constant social media. Okay, so you need to now work on self-awareness. You need to now first of all understand yourself. First of all, you must know what your strengths are, you must know what your weaknesses, you must know what your, your values are. You yeah. have to define your value. What does success mean to you? What does fulfillment mean to you? You must first of all define you, define your expectations, define what you want before you start engaging. If you don't work on self-awareness, understand yourself, understand your environment and your triggers, and understand how you impact on other people, what will happen is that when you engage there, you enter there without, with a sense of confusion. So everything is thrown at you, and you are, you are trying to find your landing pad because it's all coming to you at once. However, if you're able to say, you know what, first of all, understand what my values are. Understand why I go to social media. What do you go to social media for? What are you supposed to be doing there? And then based on that understanding, you're able to say, okay, you know what? This is what, this is who I am. Whatever I see does not necessarily. And then something also that we, which happens with people with rejection is that you, when, one of the things that happen to them is that when you see good things happening to other people, you start, you know, that thing about envy, oh, what it should have happened to me, why is this thing not happening to me? I should be the one driving that car, living in that house, rather than that other person. So one of the ways is learn to celebrate other people's mm -hmm. successes and mm -hmm. milestones and be content with yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to make my own journey and get there. So it's called a growth mindset where you say, instead of saying, I don't have this, you say, I don't have it yet. Mm. I'm not there yet. Because one day and one day, if it happened. Okay, so make we even look at, you know, we don't talk about reject, um, rejection, rejection. Rejection, they all negative. It they positive aspect around. Mm. You mm. get lessons where person feel learn from rejection. Yes. So it's not all negative. There are positive aspects of it because one, it, 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 first of all, one of the things it does is that it, it creates an, a, 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 it brings you up to a realization. Mm. And it brings you to a point of decision making. So one of the things that rejection will do for you is that it will, it, if you use it properly, it can produce resilience and mm. a drive mm. to become better and make a change. So most of the people who you see who are having success and are actually going on how to make a difference and make an if you check some of them, is their, their passion is driven by certain experiences that they've experienced in the past, which is rejection. So if, if, if you harness rejection it can now become a tool to propel you forward mm. and that's a positive aspect yes so, but more look at the role of parents and educators now as we wrap up um what you say parents and teachers then supposed to do to use help people to you know improve on this and make it based all this rejection thing them you know they touch them and so that it could feel help reduce you know the rejection especially you know yeah parents and teachers basically so um going Presently, I say that teachers don't only just have to be able to have um, not just general education knowledge, they must also have knowledge of emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because of the high increase in depression, suicide and all that, we must now become more conscious and aware that you're not only just dealing with a child's intellect, you're also dealing with a child's emotions. So even in the school environment, mm -hmm. you have to create a culture that supports children being themselves and being valued, not just because of what they have or what they know, but for who they are. So mm -hmm. create a culture of acceptance among peers and then open lines of communication. You know, one of the things that really happened to us in the past, we say our parents, you know, they allow us to express our feelings and our emotions. So nobody, they, you know, you experience it like, shut up. Who said you should talk? Don't. But these days, we find out that, see, children feel emotions. Children mm -hmm. feel things. So, so no more, you don't talk when mm, your seniors are talking. Mm -hmm. You don't do no, this. No, no. Allow mm. people to express themselves. Communication is very, very important in mm. being able to process this. Essay. So you must once in a while ask me. So a child says, I am tired of coming to school. Say, so why will you say that lazy child? No. 
Why are you tired of coming mm, to school? Find That's out. an insight. Mm. That statement, if you dig deeper, you can get more mm. insight. And by the time you even dig deeper, it might not even be about the school. It might be about something that is going on at home mm. or somebody has said to that child. Mm. So parents need to become more aware, give their children more room. To, I, I remember a, a parent who said once that he was trying to brush his child's um, teeth and the child refused to open his teeth. And he kept refusing to open his teeth. And the father, because he's emotionally intelligent, said, why don't you want to brush your teeth? And he said, somebody said, uh, my dentition is very bad. Ah. So the parents had to now sit down and talk to that child. So when they come back, ask them what has happened during their day. Find out, because sometimes they go through these things, they store it, they don't talk about it, and it and just keeps going. And shaping the yes, way they behave. and grow. Mm. If you notice a child that used to be very active, all of a sudden it's no longer as active as a child used to be, then you should not just ignore that change in behavior. You should actually follow through and see what is going on. Then secondly, teach about it as well, like have sessions where people talk about these things and all that. Then teach children to show empathy to other children. You know, you must let people understand that if you have all this working for you, everybody's not like, so I tell my children, like, you know, we go to the, the we drive and we see those underprivileged children begging. And I tell them, I say, they are not here because they chose to be here. They didn't choose the family they were born into. They didn't choose to be on the streets begging, but life happened to them. Mm -hmm. So you don't begin to think that you're better than them simply because you had more privileges than they did. However, as you begin to go better and improve in life, think about how you can make a difference to help them mm. also come up. Mm. So you have to, because sometimes it's that lack of awareness, and sometimes they pick these things from home. So my mom, you, you, you don't look like us. So my mommy said you don't look like us, and because you don't look like us, you don't belong here, yeah. and you, are not, you don't have any value and worth. However, if you now start teaching them empathy, to practice empathy, to show um, respect, even in communication to people, not to talk down on people's weaknesses, but see how you can support. Building that nature and culture within the school environment and even Perfect. at home mm. can help solve Thank and you, solve thank you, forward. thank you so much. Ah, I hope say you go come next time when I call you because <laughs> you don't break the team, finish, break and down. I shall say everybody, and everybody now don't know their role. Teachers don't know, say, then get work to do. Even them, the children don't know, say, then get mm. their own things to mm. do. And then parents who don't know, say, then get mm. role to play. I appreciate you well, well as you, you come so uh, join me for Inside Issue. Hope say you go come next time when I invite you. I will. Hopefully. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, uh, that's now Madam Happiness, Daniel Aze. She be growth coach and she don't follow us. Talk well well about rejection. Thank you. Now here and I be so good. Draw the cut and close them. And we'll close shop today for Inside the Good Morning Niger Show Extra. Thank you to everybody. We join hand and body together to make and go successfully. My name is Precious Amy. I'll go see you next time. On a do.